Hello there, I'm Renan, and today I'm excited to share how we are using Flutter to create the future of spreadsheets here at Rose. So, what's Rose? Rose is a spreadsheet with superpowers. It combines the power of spreadsheets with built-in integrations and a gorgeous sharing experience. This means you can send emails, send Slack messages, get data from LinkedIn, monitor crypto prices, all of that without code. And when you're ready, you can share this spreadsheet as a beautiful web app that's fully responsive and make it interactive with things like buttons, input fields, and a lot more. Rose is already live as a web app that has been in the making for some years now. But in 2021, we decided to create our own desktop app. We started this project with one principle in mind, performance. Creating a smooth experience that felt natural for the millions of people that use spreadsheets every day and keeping a pixel precise scrolling while handling thousands of cells with the most frames per second as possible was the thing that would drive our technical choices for this product. A spreadsheet can have hundreds of columns and thousands of rows, resulting in possibly millions of cells. Following that, we obviously have scrolling in both directions. This alone is a huge performance compromise, but the challenge doesn't stop there, as each cell can contain all different types of content. For example, numbers, formulas, charts, and even entire JSON objects. Another important factor for us is directly tied to our mission. Create tools that make computation accessible to everyone. The value of deploying to multiple platforms was absolutely fundamental for us. There were three possible ways of creating the app. An HTML-based toolkit, fully native, and Flutter. And after considering these two factors, multi-platform and great performance, Flutter was not only a great choice, but the only one to fit a bill. And time proved how great that choice was. We worked on a sliver-based grid engine that can scroll outstandingly smooth. In normal scenarios, we can easily go to 60 frames per second. Even in 4K screens, where we have more than 3,000 cells in each scroll frame, we go for a comfortable and understandable 30 frames per second. Animated selections takes the best of the Flutter intrinsic animations to deliver a great user experience while the formula composition takes the Flutter text editing system to an extreme, using text spans for highlights. And each cell takes advantage of the canvas to paint all possible types of content. You can try the Flutter version of Rose right now, as the beta for Windows and macOS are available for download at the Rose website. And we plan to ship an iPad version soon, thanks to the Flutter team for the awesome job and for having me. Bye.